Check out thechosenprime.com in the link in the description below for this and other great items. Welcome everyone to a Radio Free Cybertron review. I'm your host, Diecast, and today we have Combiner Wars leader, Ultra Magnus. Take a look at the packaging real quick. On the front, you have Combiner Wars, Ultra Magnus. You have Ultra Magnus in his robot mode. You also have Minimus Ambus in his vehicle mode. Transformers generation. On the top, you have the Autobot logo. On the side, you have a picture of Ultra Magnus and Minimus. Nothing, nothing on the bottom. And then on the back, you have Ultra Magnus in his robot and vehicle mode, along with Minimus. And then let me zoom in real quick to give you the bio. The legend of Ultra Magnus is exceeded only by the legend of Optimus Prime. When Ultra Magnus was lost, the forces of justice would not let a warrior of his caliber fail. Minimus Anbis, using the power of his rare load-bearer spark, enables Ultra Magnus to fight on. So that is a IDW comic reference, or what I think is an IDW comic reference, because I have not read that comic. So let's go ahead and get Ultra Magnus out of package, and we'll take a look at him. All right, now that we have Ultra Magnus out of package, here he is in robot mode. This is basically how he comes out of package. Uh, the only thing I did is I plugged the extra missile cannon into his arm. Uh, he does come with this Ultra Magnusy card. So if you're into the cards, he comes with one, even though the deluxes are not coming with them now that they come with the comic. So you're going to be missing out on some. But he also has the instructions, which are the standard Combiner Wars instructions. And I really do like how Hasbro is doing the instructions now because I can actually refold these and put these off to the side and keep them nice if I want to keep them. So, you know, bravo for, to Hasbro for finally figuring out how they should give us instructions. Here is Ultra Magnus. Real quick before we get into his articulation, let's do some size comparisons just so you can see how big he is. And there he is. There he is with Armada Megatron, Combiner Wars Armada Megatron. Here he is with Skyfire. Uh, Get Skyfire out of the way. Here he is with Combiner Wars Prime. Just if you want to see how they stack up. Here he is with Apollyon. Why not? Just because he's he's here, so show him off. And I think there's one more I wanted to show off, but uh I don't know where they went. Oh, here he is with some of his Combiner Wars Deluxes. There you go, just for size. And we'll transform Minimus Ambus real quick. That way you can get them in the same size. And all you have to do is flip his legs down, rotate his backpack, down, which is very tight, onto his back. That puts his arms in the right place. His arms are on a ball joint. His legs are also on a ball joint, and they got to bend at the knee. And he actually looks like the camera will focus. He actually looks like the guy from uh, V for Vendetta, the face, because he's got this really long goatee kind of thing on his face. Uh, it's kind of cool. Uh, very different for a Transformer, that's for sure. 
and you can see how big Minimus is in front of one of the deluxes. So yeah, uh, get these guys out of the way. We'll go over articulation. Articulation on this guy, he has really, really soft ratchets on the arm. Um, they are just super soft. He has a little bit of outward bend at the elbow, which also seems to be ratcheted. A swivel at the upper part of the arm. A bend at the elbow, he can do a little bit more than 90 degrees. So, pretty decent bend. He has a solid peg for the fingers here and his thumb does not move. And there's a little cutout, that way you can kind of get stuff in his hand well. Um, also worth noting, I guess, on his arms is that you can, if you want to, you know, slide them down a little bit, you can do that. That's how they kind of come in the package, is they're not slid all the way up, but personally I think, you know, they look better slid all the way up. His guns do tend to fall out of his hand pretty easy if you tap the guns. Now it's not doing it, but they've fallen out on me a couple times. There is no waist rotation. He does have an upper thigh swivel, bends at the knee 90 degrees, and his foot, it does not have a pivot, no ankle pivot, but his knees are also a very soft ratchet, so he does tend to, if you pick him up, he does tend to bend backwards like that, but the feet are on a swivel. And actually, in package, it came with the feet back, and he didn't stand very well or look very good. I think they're supposed to be in front, which he has heels on the back of his feet, so he's still pretty stable. Um, I guess if you, you know if you hit him, he's going to go over, but he he's. For the most part, he's he's stable. I wish the ratchets on him would have been a little bit tighter because it's just a little, just a bit too loose. Nice Autobot logo on his chest. I really like the red and the silver with the lights on here. Um, his the upper part of his leg is also on a ratchet, but it can only go back about that far uh, just due to it's running into the plastic up here. So kind of a little disappointing as like can't go back any further, but it can, and it can go out all the way. It just can't rotate past that back part right there. It's just hitting. So, that's as far as hit as far back as his leg can go, but with the with the knee it can go back about that far. So let's go ahead and get Minimus in here. And the way we're gonna do that, we're just gonna pull this chest piece down. Ultra Magnus's head goes up about one click. You pull this one side out. You kind of have to lift the cab up just a tiny bit. The neat part about this is he actually sits inside, which even at Toy Fair when I went to that and I was covering it for Radio Free Cybertron, I didn't notice that he was actually sitting in it. So his hands plug in and everything when he's in there, which is kind of, you know, it's cool. Really nice. Then we just close this back up. And Magnus's head comes down and it can still move back and forth. No up or down movement, but he can rotate his head about that far. So 
Then the other thing, these missiles are on a little hinge so you can angle the missiles however you want. And the weapon does combine. We'll pop these missiles off. And take this, plug that into there. These two plug in right here to give you the top of the hammer. And then you can slot that into the hand right there. So the instructions actually say that the gun should be facing like that and the missile should be facing down to give him, I guess, a better looking hammer. The only thing I'm kind of disappointed at, it doesn't seem like there's a great way for him to hold this hammer without holding it in a spot that he really wouldn't need the gun for anyway. But then that just, just looks a little ridiculously small. So that's really the only way that I can see that he can hold this. Because there's two little grooves right there. And they just slot into that opening. And then the hand supports it. So, yeah, that's, that's, that's the hammer. Uh, it's nice that they gave it to him. But I'm not going to use it. I'm going I'm to leave his missiles on and pose him that way. So let's go ahead and get him transformed. First thing you want to do is we're going to open up the chest again. And we're just going to take out Minimus Ambus. And he fits in really well, so gonna juggle it around to get him open and before you close up the chest we're gonna flip the head in and that's the reason Minimus Ambus can't stay in the trailer is the head just takes up too much room and we're gonna go ahead and just flip the whole front of the cab around come around here to the back you can see Magnus is on the sliding piece uh, for the cab just slide that up kind of the same way you do for uh, masterpiece ultra magnus if anyone has him and we're going to angle this down a little bit just so we can rotate the front of the cab around let me do that again because that was off camera a little bit just rotate this around pull it down and it plugs in right there and that's it, you're done with the, with the truck portion. Now we're just gonna go back to the trailer. And this is similar to um, every other Ultra Magnus. Just gonna come back here, untab these red pieces from the back of the leg, flip the feet in, they will clip in. Come back to the front, pull the legs up, or pull these side panels up, that'll become the back of the trailer. Everything pegs in on him really nice, I am surprised about that. They just kind of sit in there, you can see where the guide is. And since we're here, we can just tab in the bottom piece of the trailer, flip the, uh, flip the doors up, and the next thing we're going to do is we're going to rotate the waist 
so this chest piece can lie flat. That all tabs in, tabs in as well. Gives him a little bit more of a solid floor on the bottom part of the trailer. These two red pieces on the side tab into the front right there. We can straighten out this too. Then we're just gonna come up to the arms, extend the arms all the way out, just like that. Take the hand pieces, they just extend forward. Extend that forward. And we're just gonna rotate everything in and everything clips together. These hand pieces clip together. And then they tab right on the inside of the back of the trailer. So, and there you have uh, Ultra Magnus in his car carrier mode. And it is surprising how nicely everything tabs together. It's very solid, very sturdy. A decent looking trailer. He can get a full 90 degrees at the front. You can take his missile carriers or missiles, plug them into the front of the trailer. Just like so. You can also take his guns and they can plug in the back of the trailer on each side. Just like that. And then Minimus, you can transform him back into a car as he really doesn't have anywhere to go in this mode um, but I'm sure he can he can sit on the trailer somewhere and then let's go ahead and bring in some of the protecto bots and we'll see how they look on uh, Ultra Magnus so let's bring in the protect bots or two of the protect bots. We'll open up the back ramp on Ultra Magnus. He slides right in. Uh, Rook will not fit in, but he fits in just fine. You're not going to get two deluxes on this trailer. It's just not big enough for that. Uh, but you can get one deluxe on there with with plenty of room. Like I said, everything tabs together really nice. So to get the ramps out, you have to untab it. And then you just have to make sure everything tabbed back in properly. Then we'll bring Rook up here, put him on top. Maybe like that. Feels a little bit more secure. Eh, doesn't matter. And then you can still fit Minimus Ambus on the back here. And he rolls really nice. So we'll do one more size comparison. Here he is with Armada Megatron or Combiner Wars Armada Megatron just to see how they stack up together. So I hope you liked this review. Make sure you subscribe to us on YouTube if you like this review. There's going to be more to come. And uh, if you want to pick up Ultra Magnus, make sure you go over to thechosenprime.com and the link in the description below. And you can uh, pre-order these right now and they should be shipping out to you guys soon. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you next time.